interesting. But yeah, I mean, we talk about this all the time. I thought we've had some fantastic performances all the way through the season. We were, I felt, 95% performance was was top class. Um, but we were ending up losing games in very important moments, and we probably didn't deserve to lose. We tweaked a couple of lineup positions. Um, confidence continues to grow. Swansea was a great start for that. Um, and so everything is ticking over. But again, the last eight games are very, very difficult. Cincinnati, I believe, are the best team we've played so far. I think they have a lot of weapons, are very physical, very strong, but they can also play exceptional soccer on the ground. So it's difficult to try and um, prevent them from scoring goals. We're going to try a couple of things different than we have in the past. Uh, but on the other side, we'll continue to play the way we have all season. We're going to press, we're going to try and keep the ball as much as possible and we're going to make it as un uncomfortable as possible for the team coming to City Stadium. Yeah, well we had a little conversation that essentially we are in the playoffs when we were, uh, I think, positioned 10th in the standings eight or nine games ago and we had to win games because if you were going to get yourself out of this hole you had to start putting together um, a win after win and I said to them, you know, good teams are not going to win one game, they're not going to win two, they're going to win three or four on the bounce and they're going to put a run together and create that momentum. So we've done that, but we want it to continue. I mean, I think, again, I think it's going to be a completely different game. They had 15,000, 16,000 fans. Both teams were coming off trips to Florida for Open Cup. Um, they played very well. We had to change tactics several times within the 90 minutes. Um, I'm hopeful that will not be the case tomorrow that will be on the front foot from the beginning and they'll have to tweak their lineup but again Saturday Wednesday is next Saturday they're all very tough games we're playing teams right around us in the standings and uh, if we want to make the playoffs we're going to need to win one or two more and if we want to stake a claim for a top four position then Saturday Wednesday at home we have to win kind of yeah no question you can you can frame it that way you could also say it was unlucky that we should have probably been up 4-0 in the first half and, and missed a lot of easy chances so um, in the end, if you play well over the entire 90 minutes, you create more chances and you, you keep it tied to the back. Usually, and it wasn't like that at the start of the season, you're going to get going to get the win. So, you know, always a little bit of luck, but you, you again make your own luck. And as long as we're confident and we're playing well, then I think good things can happen for this team. Um, again, when you have a, a team that's playing really well defensively and with the ball, that's always going to help. But we always knew he was an exceptional talent. He was unlucky with, with injuries last year. Uh, and also, we didn't play as well as we'd like last year. And then there's the language barrier that he studies all the time. He, he's far more familiar with his teammates, far more familiar with soccer terms, with, with the language itself. And, and it just makes you more comfortable to, to play and compete in, in a positive environment. Yeah, we were very lucky to have Scott in the vicinity to, to basically reach out to us and say, hey, I'd like to uh, start my career here. He was with the Red Bulls. He was drafted with the Red Bulls. He's, he was with them in preseason, the first team. He's a very accomplished player. He's won championships, national championships with UVA. Um, he's a great person to have around right now. Yeah, so we were, first half, we were putting a lot of pressure on them. Um, and probably should have been up one or two goals. Um, so the second half, and we were still 0-0, um, and they started putting a little pressure on with the wind. He got a little nerve-wracking. Coach told me to warm up, so I was just ready to step in whenever and wherever he wanted to put me in. When I went in, first couple of touches were real good for me, and then within five minutes, I was able to make a good impact uh, with a cross to Luis, who had a great finish. So I was pretty happy with my performance for our first professional professional game. Yeah, I think it was just a throw in from Braden or somehow the ball popped out to me so I just brought it down my chest and kind of took off on the sideline with a couple defenders coming um, and I found got a little lucky on the sideline with a bit of a like dribble tackle tackle type of play in but it popped out for me and I was able to find Jackson in the center, in the center area with a lot of space in front of me so I just took off and Jackson played a great ball into me and then had a lot of space and Luis was able to finished pretty well so yeah it's, it was it, it meant a lot to me uh the past six months after graduating were were a bit rough after the whole thing with um, red bull and then going from there just trying to find a team and luckily i was able to get in touch with richmond and they gave me a shot and since i showed up with camp i don't think we've lost yet so it's been it's been great to be a part of that <laughs> um just with training and then finally signing and then keeping on the bounce and seeing the, the performances get better and better with us. So um, it's been special and just being in an area where I know 
a little more, but we used to play them in spring games, and my roommate from college is from here, so I know the area pretty well, being from Charlottesville in school, so it felt good to, to sign here for the rest of the year. Uh, just knowing uh, a, a few of their players from growing up playing against them and with them, uh, they have a very good team of guys with some MLS experience, um, guys with high-level college experience, and then just guys that will work hard and, and play play good soccer. So they'll just try to build out of the back, play a good attacking brand with a couple guys up top that are pretty tricky. So we've been preparing all week for that, and hopefully we can continue the streak um, this week at home in front of some great fans. So Yeah, it'll be awesome. I've been here the past, I think, three weeks since the Swansea game. Uh, in the stands and just seeing the the reaction of the fans and how, how they get behind the guys. Um, it'll be exciting to be down in the field uh, for that, hopefully, so we'll see what happens. Uh, fortunately, uh, I have scored a lot of goals this season. So most of credit goes to my teammates and coaches. Um, so I want to stay focused for the rest of the season. So uh, we uh, lately, uh, we have found uh, ways Ways to ways to win games. So um, everyone has been working so hard and displayed uh, the ability to be resilient in our last game against Montreal.